The 2022 Qatar World Cup is about to start, and we couldn't have a channel about Brazil that doesn't talk about football or soccer for my American friends. We went to visit the most famous Brazilian stadium, Maracanã, on a day without matches to show you what you can expect if you decide to visit this attraction. Now, let's take a look, shall we? So the Maracanã Stadium was created in the 1950s and the name for Maracanã comes from an indigenous word that means something that rattles and that's due to the shape of it. The capacity for it is around 80,000 people. It used to be up to 200 people back in the 50s but after an accident they just decided to do some refurbishment and then change, lower the capacity so that people could be safer inside. Obviously the Maracanã is known for like hosting uh, World Cups like the 1950s and the 2014 World Cup so you will have seen many many matches and the most famous one on the recent times the one against Germany where Brazil lost for seven goals to one so that was quite uh, embarrassing for us but yes but the, the stadium uh, as you can see like we are here today on a day that there isn't there isn't a match and the reason for that is because they actually have a tour where you can go all the way down there and you can just visit, visit the locker rooms, visit the museum they have. They have a little museum inside and they also have a souvenir shop. So we're just going to be showing you today a little bit about this tour, about how you can get here and in case you want to visit what it is that you, that you would be hoping to encounter. for the tour and in here you can see the museum with many of the important things such as like the balls, historic balls made from leather and the famous soccer players shirts and you can also see some of the seats that famous people use such as Pope John Paul II and the Queen Elizabeth herself that both came to watch a soccer match over here so it's quite interesting um, it's very small you can go around and take a look at those artifacts but then we're gonna go around and take a look at the other things like the locker rooms and the and the lawn itself by the way today is a rainy day so that could be a great option for you to come in case you can't really go to the beach or you don't want to go to the beach on a rainy day however we do have a video where we show many many other options for you to visit whenever it's rainy so i'm gonna link the video down below so you should definitely check that one out and see if there whatever there is here in rio for you to do when it's the weather is not great for going to the beach of the Markanam Stadium, this was the stage of many important uh, historic moments for soccer itself, internationally speaking. So for example, this is the place where Pelé, one of the most famous soccer players in the world, scored his thousands goal, um, as well as, as I mentioned, the infamous 7-1 uh, from Germany on top of Brazil on the final of uh, 2014 World Cup as well as many live shows, concerts here. So you would have U2, Madonna and many others, Frank Sinatra, they all played over here for this entire uh, stage. So that was also very important. If you decide to come on a match day, I suggest you buy your tickets in advance. However, if you're coming for the tour that we're doing today, you're probably better off buying it over here, especially if you're coming on a weekday. It's very, it's very okay, like not very busy and it's it's cheaper a little bit because if you buy it over the, the internet you're gonna pay a 10 percent convenience fee which I'm, I'm not sure why they would do that but over here you won't pay that extra 10 percent so you might be better off buying it uh, over here at the stadium once you come i would suggest you for the match i would suggest you arrive early probably you might want to eat something or perhaps just buy it over here at the stadium and in terms of safety, it's, it's very okay to come. You see many 
especially during match days, you see many police patrolling the area, many police on horse or even the cars and motorcycles. So it's it's okay, just obviously it's gonna be a busy area. So mind uh, mind the pickpockets and, and be, be aware of your belongings all, at all times. So for you to reach Maracanã Stadium, you can either come by Uber, taxi, or bus, you would have a lot of transport methods. However, I think the best way to get here is through the metro station. So there is just a metro station just across the street over there. And it's super easy, you just come down the ramp and you'll be riding in front of the ticket spots um, for the tour. It's also a great option if you're coming on a day that they will be having a match because otherwise the traffic jam all over the stadium is gonna be really, really tough and busy. So uh, honestly, I wouldn't even suggest you come by Uber, I just would um, tell you to come by, by Metro. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, if you're enjoying to know uh, how the attractions look like in the inside, please consider giving us a like so that I know you enjoy this type of video. And also leave me a comment down below because I would be interested to know if you guys would come here. This is a place, I am not really a soccer fan, so I don't know how much that would mean to someone to come here. I personally found it a little bit expensive, but leave me a comment down below. Is this something that you would be interested in coming? Would you would you be interested in knowing more about it or other places like this or other attractions in Rio? Let me know and then I will get back to you. Thank you. So we're now in the press room where um, the coaches and the football players come to give their press interviews. Um, I just wanted to show you this and just um, say thank you very much. I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.